Odafest's island expansion. Well, we're not on it right now, but there it is. There is Maui. There is the entire game-sized island that we're going to be getting added to this game in November. And I, today, am going to be breaking down absolutely everything we've seen for this island. Because we've seen way more than you probably think. How close can we get? We can get... Oh, we can get way closer than I thought. Okay, wow. There it is, Maui, the big island that we're going to. You can also see up in the top right there. That's just sort of like how do I how do I describe this? Even the little weird mm, amalgamation of dirt there. That's like developer stuff. Like that's them testing materials and the world crafting tools. Which is wild that they left that in, but it's obviously it's gonna be gone now. <laughs> but that island already is pretty damn big, and we never knew that we were gonna be able to go there. But now we obviously you have confirmation. So let's get into this massive breakdown. Also, I mean, well, Eden Robotic, also subscribe because I'm going to be doing a bunch of content breaking down not only these this new update coming out, the Lowrider update early, by the way. Check out that content uh, as well as this massive uh, open world map update. Let's do it all. Now, obviously, at the start of a grand race, you can see a big shot of all the islands. You can also see Kauai, which looks very, very ripe for another expansion, but is way smaller than it should be compared to real life. But what if I told you we've seen a big shot of the islands way before, back pre-launch, nine months ago, August 30th, this video right here. We have a big shot of all of the islands. So you can see... The islands were definitely being worked on way back when, but you can see that it isn't at all in the same direction and format. The entire island has moved since, well, the, the, the fake version of the islands that they've given us in the game. But this is what we're looking at today. This is what we're breaking down today. We're going to look at every little detail, the airport, the keys type area, the jet spread type area, the volcano, everything we can to do with this right here, the Maui Island coming to the crew Motorfest. And this is one of the first shots we have of it. Now, we get a few shots of this island. This is one of the better ones. And we actually already kind of know what a lot of these cities and towns are probably going to be. They're definitely moved around. They're not where they should be, but they're the closest you can get. Bear in mind for future reference a few locations one obviously the volcano two this little patch of grass here what is going on there well something rather interesting which you guys probably will like and then this area over here which seems to be indented a little and has a bit going on there we've got a lot of bridges and a lot of roads which look very fun to drive a lot of rally type roads a rally expansion would be lovely now what i believe to be either this area over here or this area over to the right side, this bit. We have our first look close up at the map. And we have some interesting things straight away. Is that they've actually uniquely designed a lot of places here. That's red sand. Now that's not like the boring regular sand we have on Oahu. Oh, this is, this is sand. This sand's red. We also have a different tunnel type system, which looks slightly similar to this tunnel system at the racetrack in game. But it's clearly very different. It is a similar tunnel, but this one is for the purposes of, well, driving around the volcano. And that's what this is. We see this in other locations as well, as it seems to be the main lower roads around the volcano area of the map. And it takes us on to the next kind of area that we're going to be looking at. I would hope you remember, because it was two seconds ago, the area I told you to remember over here. Because that's the area that I believe to be the next place we're looking at, which is this. The massive open dirt area underneath a big waterfall and bridge. Now, this area is actually similar to something in the real Maui, no surprise, as it's, well, based off the real Maui. It appears to be based off Hana Bridge in Maui, Hana being a town, a city. This bridge right here, which there's nothing that directly parallels it, but it's very, very close, and this is the most similar thing we have to what we're being shown in-game here, in the map. It apparently can be bought on Etsy by the looks of it, but the Hana Bridge finds itself right next to, well, Hana. The location over here. This is one of the smaller cities which also has its own little airstrip, which is nice. Just like the northern city in Oahu, this one has its own smaller one, but it's another smaller town. Now, you'll notice where it is. It's on the, like, rightmost tip of Maui. Well, that endmost 
tip where it has found itself there is round about where it has found itself here. That right there is Hana. And this right here is likely where that bridge is that we saw. Because as you can see, straight away, the roads start leading towards where the camera is. And that's what happens here. The roads start immediately leading out back to the dirt area. Regardless of whether it's over here or whether it's here, it is Hana Bridge, which will likely obviously be near Hana, the town at the bottom of Maui. However, it doesn't seem like we'll be getting a similar to Oahu airstrip unless it's all the way over here on this little tip sticking out because well it's a very it's a very flat tip that phallic area there what we have instead is some highway that connects us around the whole area of the island and speaking of it takes us to the road areas like this which again we see more examples of them having made completely unique assets for this update the bamboo. The bamboo, which is known to be a thing in Maui. A massively thick bamboo forest. It does seem like we can tell that the smaller, thin, green ones are going to be the ones that are breakable. But this is going to be a torture to drive through. If there is, uh, like, an off-road addict to or any kind of, like, rally update through there, that's going to be a absolute torturous place to drive through because it is so thick as a bamboo forest would be. But it's really nice to see that this isn't just an asset flip. This isn't just taking the assets of Oahu and repositioning them. They've actually made unique things for this update, meaning it was probably planned well before launch, which is actually something that they lied to me about here's the cliff. I, I mean, it's hard to miss. There does happen to be Two islands just off the edge of the map, one suspiciously shaped like Kauai, and one suspiciously shaped like Maui. So what about those? The, uh... Is this to matter of credibility, <laughs> Hawaii, uh, Hawaii is an archipelago, so for sure the, we are currently on Oahu, but it's an archipelago, so it would be make, it, it would make no sense to when it's like very high when you are looking at uh, the structure of the, the world to have nothing all around. So it's like for credibility structure, it's like that. So I imagine you wouldn't be able to say anything on whether those would. Uh, uh, go towards a map expansion of any kind our focus uh, as Fergus said i mean the the content where we are uh, what we are developing currently is working on oahu and working on all the content there for all the content we are uh, we are known already for the young young one support it's everything is on oahu and we are delivering this content there like I say, these damn lying Frenchmen. Yes, yeah, so the head of Ivory Tower and someone who you may re recognize as well, the person who spoke during the, the build up to UB Forward about the game, they told me, well, they didn't directly lie. They told me that the reason the islands were there, the reason you can see them on the map is because they wanted Hawaii to look like it was a group of islands. Well, where's that gone now? But yes, this area here, I don't really know where it is, but it is some bamboo. And then we have somewhere which, yeah, this one does look a lot more like Oahu. It's just a field with some nice, pretty pink flowers. But something you'll notice is the volcano in the background spewing that volcano fumes. So yes, there is a big likelihood, and I hope so, that this volcano will be active during the game, and you could potentially fly through there with the, you know, with your, with your, with your planes and whatnot. I don't know how it's going to work with cars is the only issue. I don't know if they'll make it not active because, well, you know, like I said, cars. Because how the hell is that going to work? You drive on there and get respawned when it's active, but I hope it's that. I hope, like, every now and then it will randomly become active. We've seen it active here on the in-game shot of the map. But the thing is, we don't just see it active in this gameplay screenshot. We don't see it active in this gameplay screenshot alone, but we also see it active in this gameplay screenshot as well. All three. Again, the highway. The whole goddamn steaming thing. And this leads towards Kahu Luai. But that's interesting positioning because obviously the volcano's over here. But Kahului is this. It is the major city of Maui. It is the big city of Maui. Positioned right here on sort of the uh, where it all peaks inwards. Now, that's kind of been changed because as we see in the screenshot of the full map, we can see that the Kahului is not really on the, the little the, the crest here. It's more on the actual smaller chunk of the map. So they've moved Kaluhuai, but that is what I believe that town is. And the highway featured is likely this chunk over here. Or potentially further, because you can see the volcano, 
but it's leading towards Kaluhuai. Kuluhuai? I might be, I might be missing out. I think it's Kuluhuai. Obviously, that's the most likely place for this screenshot as well with the Ivory Tower vehicle. The city because they've got the storm drains which would likely be in a in a bigger city but we also do see storm drains in the smaller town on the right side of oahu the made in japan town is really what i refer to it as but you can see these storm drains are rather filled with water unlike those ones as well as the ones in the screenshot of the brand new location appear deeper but i might be wrong about that they seem rather similar to the storm drain scene in oahu but on the topic of kahu it is it is kahu why did i say kuhu no it is just kahu kahu luai also features this right here a massive well i'd say massive relatively speaking kahu luai airport and this is seen i say massive because it, it also has a costco wholesale i wonder if that'll be in the game you can very clearly see Kahului Airport right next to it. And it seems to be near the size of the city. It is a very big airport. They have gone massive on the airport, yet sort of scaled down Kahului itself, being the Kahului supposed to cover this whole section. It's kind of just shoved over there for the airport. I guess the airport was more important when it should really be like down here, I guess. So there will be a massive airport in game and seems to be may looks like another city area another town area and that would make sense giving this three towns just under the crew mode of the current maps four towns with one big one and then the other one so there might be another town hiding here somewhere but the one over there behind the volcano is very likely kaihi this one over here a smaller town in a similar area they also they really just jumped they they jumped molokai molokai got chucked in the bin they went they went, what? Maui. But then, of course, Kauai needs to be way bigger. Way, way bigger. I really hope they do make Kauai way bigger. And, of course, we got to go over the top with the breakdown. You can see the Haleakala is a way smaller location. I'm curious what they'll do with Haleakala because it's very, very, it's, it's, it's really, it's, a, well, it's like an observatory. So, clearly, some bits will be some kind of asset flips. I doubt they're going to make brand new observatory assets for this brand new observatory. But Haleakala is in there. And I would say confirming my earlier theory on everything is this last one here, which says East Maui, Ki, Ki, Hi, Ki, 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 I think. Meaning getting off this highway would get you to exactly the city I thought it was over here. Meaning the highway would have to be around here somewhere to get you to both. To get you to both the major city, see the volcano, and on the right, this and it will follow forward to the observatory it's all coming together moving on to one of the final gameplay screenshots of the actual map we have this area here again very far from the volcano but you can still see it steaming out you have this very island heavy area now this area is a tad interesting because well it's this bit here this big chunk of islands with how the highways going through them all but this area here seems to be a very similar area to Miami's Keys back in The Crew 2. A sort of island swampy area. Well, not even swampy, I guess. It's more of a tropical thing. But islands. Now, Maui doesn't really have anything like that. Nowhere near the direction of, of anything, really. So they've kind of took some creative liberties there. Sort of made it themselves. So that's what we can expect. We can expect maybe another city on the opposite end, but like at the moment, three confirmed cities by signs, as well as a very nice location for the bridge. We've got the major city down here. We've got the, another city over there. we got the, the big major city over there. An airport confirmed, maybe a strip there. But one of the biggest things is yet to be revealed. And that's this. See, you also can see on the trailer that the map is connected via a bridge a bridge that's going to be added right over here on the map right below the crater there and the bridge will go from here all the way around to the keys area of maui the little patch of islands over there now this is interesting because this well it isn't something we were expecting i thought you would have to fly to the island or sail to the island but no they've given the option of a bridge now i like this for a few reasons one First of all, I will mention that this bridge bears a striking resemblance to the Flipper Bridge in Hong Kong. Which, Hong Kong obviously currently is the location for, well, 
the TDU. And if you don't know, there's a whole bunch of connections because the people who work on the crew were originally from TDU. And now TDU Solar Crown is on Hong Kong Island and the crew motor fest is adding a bridge, which is very like the Hong Kong Flipper Bridge. But this is exactly what you'll probably expect from the the flipper bridge. This is what you get. And that leads you all the way to the island, to the new little island E area of the island. Now, I'm a big fan of this. Originally, I thought it would have been nicer if you were forced to sail or fly to the island, but I actually think it's a bit better for one reason. And that reason requires the Crew 2. See, one of the most iconic things in the Crew 2's history was the New York hypercar race. It served as its own little pocket community within the culture of the Crew 2. You were a general speed runner if you're good at the game and getting summit times, but you were a New York runner if you were really going hard on that race specifically. There is so much to be getting gotten out of New York and well, so much that's iconic about New York. In fact, one of my most popular videos on the entire channel is a video about how they patched a shortcut in New York. The one right after being about how someone got a really good time in New York. The one right after that, how much money you can get from New York. The New York hypercar race was iconic. We just don't have anything like that in Murderfest. I'll make a video way more in depth about this, but just to mention, this is Liberty Territory. This race is all we have. It is the closest race we have to, well, New York. It's the longest event and it's only sat at, well, 17 minutes. New York was sat at about a lot more than that. It's only really 17 minutes because they force you to use street for a little bit. And up against 30 minutes, it's it doesn't it doesn't even come close. Now no one really cares about this event. It might be the longest event in the game, but it just doesn't hold a stature. It doesn't hold a candle to what New York was. It really doesn't come close. Because of how well strict the checkpointing is, one of the things that made New York so iconic was the shortcuts, the shortcuts are what made New York, but this one just keeps you to the road the whole way round. It just takes you on the edge of the island the whole way round, on, stuck on some boring roads in some boring cars. It's a lose-lose situation, truly. And I think one of the biggest bits of feedback that I would have for the crew, I mean, not really, there's way bigger things, but we need a New York. We need something like New York where people can get fully invested in at the specific level. And there's only one way to really do that. And it's exactly what they're doing now. What we need for a brand new New York is a race that goes across not one, I would say not even two, but three different islands from the bottom right around the first island, just to the opposite, to the opposite end of the first island, racing across a bridge from bottom corner to opposite corner on a second island, and then take a brand new bridge to the last island and do a full loop of that one. It has to have spread out checkpoints and it has to take a while. Maybe even just the four corners of each island as the only checkpoints. And that is how you make a New York race. And this was the full breakdown of Maui. Head down there and subscribe if you want to see the Lowrider update early. Thank you to popular members, especially thanks to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members. We don't have any. Thank you to icon members. HK, I'll see you boys in the next one. That's about it from me in a bit.